good morning everyone welcome back um drop your tickers and questions in your associated chats um you know remember we don't talk politics here um we talk trading opportunities you know how to grow how to evolve how to get one percent better how to make more money at the end of the day but i have to admit Normally on, you know, Money Monday, I got I got the official shirt of Money Monday on, but um, normally I'm all fired up, but I have to admit, I'm a little bummed out today. Um, you guys know I'm a I'm a big believer in uh, American exceptionalism, and uh, I don't know, just uh, some of the current affairs particularly world affairs, got me bummed out, got me bummed out. So anyway, even though I'm bummed, I'm still here for you. I still show up every day, whether you feel like it or not. So let's get to work. Um, NAOV asks Brian, yeah, I mean, you know, this is probably, um, I don't know if this is number one, but this is definitely top of the list. You know, this thing has just been holding up for, geez, a month now. Remember, this started running back the end of July. Here we are, end of August. Well, not end, but going into the end of August, still hanging around. Um, Blah, blah, blah. I mean, you know, I, I don't even really need to open the press release. I don't really care what I love. I mean, I mean, right off the bat. 8.30 8.30 Monday morning press release. Uh, you, know, you know, that's that's always... Actually, we posted a YouTube video this this weekend, right? Um, talking about, you know, what we look for on a morning runner, what we look for on a dip and rip. And, you know, that... Eight, I mean, we, we love the timing on that 8.30 press release. So let me get my notes up here. Um, NAOV held up... For a month, relatively low flow, uh, 8.30 a.m. Money Monday PR, good volume, Friday's highs at 3.40, Oracle... Yeah, Oracle sees major resistance at 338. So I would, you know, basically, you know, the Oracle indicator sees major resistance at 338, which coincides with the high of day on Friday at 340. So I would call this basically that that dip and rip over 340, 945 or later. Um, The only thing, the biggest reason I say 945, this probably ends up being the chat pump of the day. So I always want you guys to be careful. So um, Oracle major resistance at 340 um, corresponds with Friday's highs. I think we get short panic over that. Uh, Greg asks about ENLV. Big gap up. It's COVID, though. Uh, you know, again, I, I started mentioning that, you know, we don't talk politics. I'm also not a virologist, but, you know, we've talked about this so many times. Just nobody cares anymore. You know, from a trading perspective, nobody cares. So ENLV. Afternoon only. So, and, and, and as always, you might ask, well, why? Why afternoon only? Um, it's just, I, I just don't think anybody cares. So, COVID junk penny stock. And when I say that, I mean, understand there's a big difference between Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, Moderna, 
NVAX, okay? When I say nobody cares, I'm, I'm specifically talking about the junk COVID penny stocks. I mean, it's not, it's not March 2020 anymore. It's not April 2020. It's not May 2020. We've got four vaccines out there. So nobody cares about COVID junk penny stocks. Uh, afternoon breakouts only. Probably an ignore. Um, H, uh, Edison asked about HLBZ. What is HLBZ? Uh, I'm guessing Edison, maybe that's a typo. Oh, day two SPAC. Eh. I, I mean, ultimately, uh, I, can, I can't give you a read. Uh, micro mobility. I can't give you a read when it's trading 20,000 shares. So Edison... Come back. I mean, listen, I'm here every day. I'm here every day. Come back when this thing is actually trading some volume. So, sorry. And, and I'm not, like, yelling at you. It's just I can't give you a trade plan on a stock this illiquid. So, no. Analyst upgrade. A lot of overhead resistance. Wait for a breakout. You know, it's up 10% on an analyst upgrade. That's probably best case scenario when you're talking about, you got a $5 billion market cap stock up 10% on some analyst upgrade. Meanwhile, these guys, I mean, you guys know how this works, right? I mean, you guys know how this works. At least I hope you do. I mean, this whoever this guy is at Morgan Stanley, he's probably got, you know, he probably bought a million shares of this thing. He puts out a, a, an upgrade, and now he's selling to all the people that believe in analyst upgrades. Meanwhile, he's like, hey, boss, I nailed it. Give me a bonus. His boss is like, oh, Joe, you're an incredible trader. You, but you, oh, man, it's, it's, it's amazing. I can't – you nailed that call on Sono. Meanwhile, Sono probably – closes the day unchanged after Joe unwinds his position. So I, I, I don't like a $5 billion market cap up 9% on an analyst upgrade. Best case scenario here at plus 10%. Shane Shinobar. Asked about CETX. No volume. Sorry. Sorry, Shane. No volume. Um, Scott Sipical. Scott, I cannot pronounce your last name. F U L C. F U L C is a weak open red to green. This was the attempted squeezer on Friday. I admit, you know, F U L C had a decent run in the morning. I expected some afternoon fireworks. We didn't get it, but held up nicely. Weak, open, red to green. Um, expected more out of this Friday, but did hold up nicely. Uh, Ronnie asked about ADMA. Uh, bio, what's this? Bioplasma. Nice right, FDA approval. 100 million float. A lot of overhead resistance. Uh, based on the, uh, so I liked the news. So I, I like the news on ADMA, but I mean, it has ran, I mean, you know, just not a big history of running. Like the best day was like a 40, 50 cent move. So it's not a big runner. Higher float, tons of overhead resistance. Um, you know, lot like 
ENLV afternoon only. So, you know, when I talk about afternoon only, let's bust out the whiteboard. You know, I just don't have much faith in ADMA. You know, now, if it does this, which you guys should all know this drawing. So green's a stock price, yellow is VWAP. So I, I just, based on the float, no history of running, uh, lots of overhead resistance, everything I already said, if this can hug VWAP, you know, and make a break into the into the afternoon, you know, that 2 p.m. window, that's a different story, but I just wouldn't be any rush on this thing. Muhammad asks about B-I-O-L. I didn't like this on Friday. I don't like it today. So, hated this. Whoops, B-I-O-L. Hated this on Friday. Hated even more today. I mean, it just, I mean, this thing, what did this thing move? Three cents on Friday? Yeah, I mean, I mean, when we talked about it in pre-market at, yeah, PO, let this set up. It's a dip and rip. Let it set the high. Nice, sketchy stock, penny, penny stock earnings winner on a Friday. You know, and so that was at what? 8.39 a.m. So at that point, it was sitting at 93 cents. Okay. So at the point we broke it down on Friday, it's at 93 cents. It went, it went to 98. I mean, talk about lame. And then gap down at the open, which again, and, and you know, and I'm already not in the best mood, but I mean, you guys understand. I mean, listen, and, and I, I'm not seeing anyone did get bagged in this on Friday, but you guys, I mean, you get, like, <laughs> I'm trying not ramp, okay? But remember, the what? what is the dip and rip, okay? We like that week open, and then we look for that break. I mean, listen, if you got bagged in BIOL, then I don't know. You're not trading my setups. You're not trading the ideas we talked about. And so if you bought it when I talked about it at 8.39 a.m., you're probably in the DMs right now saying, oh, nice pump and dump, Tim. Meanwhile... I mean, how many times I have to say it's a sketchy biotech, it's 9.45 or later, ideally into the afternoon, especially on a Friday. So if you got bagged in this, man, you're, there's no hope for you, you know, good luck. So, because you can't even listen to simple, I mean, I boil this down as simply as possible, and you can't pay any attention to that. And then after the, I mean, again, the best run it could do was four or five cents. This thing sucked on Friday. Sucks even more today. You think state AMD is still strong going forward? Um, you know, I think AMD is just a lot of profit taking. Um, but I would just listen, don't don't play guessing games. You know, trade breakouts. I, I don't, you know, I know everyone wants to like get in stuff early. I don't get it, man. The market changed in 2016. And it doubly changed in 2020. Quit trying to play guessing games. I mean, this is just into sideways consolidation at this point. Now, if it breaks 119, hammer it. If it breaks 100, short it. You know, but but you're just in sideways consolidation mode right now. And you know, I talk about Brian Shannon's book all the time. I mean, this is just, this is, you're now, I mean, an incredible run. I did an entire webinar breaking down AMD. You, it's still up. I think I, it should still be up. If you go to stocks to trade, if I could spell, slash uh, webinar replay. So, you know, whenever it was, it was like two weeks ago, I broke it all down exactly why we cared about AMD. And AMD played out beautifully once it broke 100. But, I mean, now you're just, you're just, guessing games and and man i tell you quit 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 with the guessing games guys use alerts okay use the charts nlst yes adam or not adam michael 
It's an OTC. I can't give you a reading pre market. Uh, SESN. No. I will leave you with this. I don't know what's worse. I don't know what's worse. The situation in Afghanistan or someone wanting to trade SESN. All right. Have a good day, my friends. NAOV, probably number one. Kind of, I kind of like that red to green on FULC. UPST, if you saw the YouTube video, I do really like UPST into the afternoon um, as a swing trade. You know, Microsoft's a red to green. Robin Hood, waiting for that 60 level. Um, Mayo asks about FLGC. Red to green. Oh, that's a nice red to green. FLGC is a nice red to green. So. This that this stock's been this got it squeezed in after hours. Uh, Michael, if that's how I pronounce your name, thank you for lightening my mood. You you brought me back from the depths of despair after SESN. I mean, listen, if you guys are asking about SESN, I can't believe no one's asked about Wish. I mean, doesn't doesn't someone want to talk about Wish? The, the Twitter pump I begged you to avoid for a month. Wish is probably better than SESN. So anyway, thank you, Maya, Michael, for bringing me back from the depths of despair. This squeezed in after hours on Friday. It's been punishing shorts for, geez, a month now. So this is a solid red degree. So, all right. Have a good day. Whoops. Red degree. Oh, whoops, and I need to take notes for SESN. SESN, only stock setup worse than Wish. So, all right, my friends, have a good day. I will uh, see you next time. I'll always be here. Good mood, bad mood, but have a good day, my friends. We'll see you next time.